Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 endangered animals. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. There is a reason these creatures are referred to as charismatic megafauna. These endangered species enjoy celebrity status, which conservationists have leveraged to raise funds for conservation initiatives and, often by default, the other organisms that share their complex ecosystems. People are much more likely to donate money to help save an adorable panda, or a mighty tiger than to help save the gerlax cockroach or the limbless worm skink. On the other hand, skinks and roaches are vital members of their ecosystems, and are just as deserving of assistance as their more colorful counterparts. The animals on this list can then be thought of, as a listers whose box office earnings help to ensure the survival of lesser known character actors who share their habitats. If you're annoyed by the concept of trickle-down conservation, consider starting a Kickstarter campaign to save the Gerlax cockroach. I will make a contribution. Possibly. Number 10. Giant Panda. Everybody adores a panda, and they may be the cutest animal that humanity has yet to eradicate. We can't get enough of bi-coloured beasts, whether they're plush dolls, or CGI abominations proficient in martial arts. Although their R factor is bordering on saccharine, it has not gone unnoticed. Since the late 1980s, China, which is home to the last wild population of less than 2,500 individuals, has enacted more stringent habitat protection measures, and poaching has virtually ceased. Their condition, however, remains precarious. Their range is fragmented, and they face disease, predation, and hunger as large swaths of the bamboo on which they feed die. Number 9. Siberian Tiger. The stalking grounds of the six tiger subspecies, as portrayed in William Blake's Night Forests, are on fire. Slash and burn agriculture, deforestation, and human encroachment have significantly decreased the habitat available to these felines, which require vast ranges to support the large herbivores that comprise the majority of their diet. Poaching for trophies and body parts used in Asian medicine is the most significant threat to tigers. There are likely less than 4,000 remaining in the wild. In 2014, China outlawed the consumption of endangered animals such as tigers, whose bones, penises, and other organs are superstitiously believed to have mystical curative properties. Number 8. Whooping Crane. In 1938, the same year a population survey was conducted, only 29 whooping cranes remained in the wild. Three years later, only 16 people remained. Hunting and habitat destruction had decimated the population, and it wasn't until the late 1960s that concerted efforts to save the remaining birds began. There are currently over 400 chicks, owing largely to pioneering breeding programs. Despite the failure of a plan to relocate whooping crane eggs to related sandhill crane nests for fostering, captive rearing, and reintroduction have resulted in the establishment of two wild populations in Florida, one of which has been trained to migrate to Wisconsin. Neither is self-sufficient. Alberta, Canada, and Texas, USA, are home to the world's only self-sufficient country. Number 7. Blue Whale. Blue whales are the world's largest mammals, with a population of less than 25,000. Blue whales, which are classified into several subspecies, are present in every ocean on Earth excluding the Arctic. The 20th century's whaling industry is estimated to have drained the existing population by up to 90%, commercial hunting of the species was prohibited in 1966. The National Marine Fisheries Service of the United States established a recovery plan in 1998. It necessitated the development of individual specimen photo databases, as well as the collection of genetic and migration data, in order to gain a better understanding of the species, which remains endangered due to ship collisions and entanglement in fishing nets. Number 6. Asian Elephant. According to the IUCN, the total number of Asian elephants, which live in 13 countries, is estimated to be between 40,000 and 50,000. Owing to the inaccessibility of certain areas where the lumbering pachyderms reside due to geography or political unrest, the population could be much lower. India is the world's largest nation, accounting for more than half of the world's population. The rapid population growth in that area, as well as elsewhere in Asia, creates competition for space and resources. Despite the fact that Asian elephants' tusks are significantly smaller than those of African elephants, Asian elephants continue to be poached for ivory, meat, and skin. Number 5. Sea Otter. Sea otters were on the verge of extinction due to their opulent waterproof coat that protects them from the freezing waters in which they live. 
the commercial fur trade almost wiped out the population, with only 2,000 of an estimated 300,000 left by 1911. That year, a global ban on commercial hunting was enacted. While the ban, combined with management and conservation measures introduced following the 1972 Marine Mammal Protection Act, has helped populations recover to roughly a third of their former levels, they remain extremely vulnerable to natural phenomena, such as killer whale predation and anthropogenic factors such as oil spills. Number 4. Snow Leopard. Despite being called a leopard, and resembling a frosted version in the spotted leopards of more equatorial regions, genetic evidence indicates that the snow leopard is actually more closely related to the tiger. There are believed to be less than 6,500 individuals remaining in the wild, but data are scarce due to the species' preference for remote mountainous terrain and its elusive nature. China and Mongolia have the largest populations, followed by India and Kyrgyzstan. Blue sheep and ibex are natural prey, although some regions rely heavily on domestic animals. Farmers who depend on the animals are compelled to kill problematic leopards. The species continues to face serious threats from poaching and overhunting of its natural prey species. Number 3. Mountain Gorilla. Gorillas are classified as two species, Eastern, Gorilla Beringay, and Western, Gorilla Gorilla, or as three subspecies, Eastern Lowland, Western Lowland, and Mountain Gorillas. Both gorillas, regardless of who you ask, are endangered. Just about 220,000 are believed to remain in the wild. Major losses also occurred as a result of habitat encroachment and poaching for bushmeat, trophies, and mystical talismans. Since gorillas have such a complex social structure and reproduce slowly females give birth just once every four years at the most removal of even a few individuals from, a troop can have a catastrophic impact on the troop's ability to live. Number 2. Tasmanian Devil. Between 1996 and 2008, the population of Tasmanian devils decreased by 60% due to an infectious cancer, known as devil facial tumor disease. It has continued to annihilate the species population, which is located only on Australia's Tasmanian island. Just 10,000 wild individuals could remain. Captive breeding of uninfected individuals has been introduced, and efforts to establish a vaccine for the cancer have been made. The cancer is thought to have arisen from mutant cells from a single organism. Number 1. Orangutan. Orangutans have been shown to possess cognitive abilities such as causal and logical reasoning, self-recognition in mirrors, deception, symbolic communication, foresight, and tool creation and usage, Pongo. In Malaysian, the word orangutan translates as forest human. Though their morphological resemblance to melted muppets is greater than that of humans, their sophisticated cognitive abilities are very human. They have been observed using tools in a manner similar to gorillas and chimps. Orangutans, which are found only on the Southeast Asian islands of Borneo and Sumatra, are estimated to number fewer than 60,000, according to a 2004 survey. This is partially due to timber harvesting and capture for the exotic pet trade. Unlike other great apes, they are typically solitary or live in groups of less than three, making them difficult to track and study. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.